Hello friends, this video on tissues part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Right? So these, this was a comparison between the three types of muscle tissue. So I think with this we have ended our discussion on muscular tissue. So the next topic which we are going to discuss is the last type of connective, is the last type of animal tissue which is going to be nervous tissue. So let us see what are we going to study about in nervous tissue. So what is nervous tissue actually? It is the main component which constitutes the nervous system. So what is the nervous system? So when I talk of the nervous system, I am actually talking about brain, spinal cord and the peripheral nerves which we have in our body. So from there, from the term nerve, it gets this name nervous. So what does the nervous system actually do? Have you ever experienced that scenario that when you touch a hot object, you immediately remove your hand? Why do you take your hand back? What makes you feel that you have touched something which is hot? What helps you to distinguish between hot and cold? Now, at the moment you touch the hot bucket of water, a signal goes to your brain and the brain interprets the signal and tells you that this water is hot and that is why you remove your hand. Now this entire thing, this transmission of signal happens so fast that it happens within almost instantaneously and we feel that the moment we touched the water, we, it, we removed it instantly. But actually the signal goes to the brain and the brain tells you that this is hot, right? So, so whenever I am talking about nervous system, I am basically talking about three main components that is brain spinal cord and the peripheral nerves. What are peripheral nerves? That means the nerves which are present throughout our body. Now when you look at it, you will see that there are so many nerves which are present in the body. Here if you see this is our brain, this is the spinal cord and from the spinal cord itself you have so many nerves coming out. I mean, you can just see how many nerves are there. I, I don't want to discuss about each of them right now. That will become too complicated. But I'm just trying to tell you there are so many nerves which are actually present inside our body. So because of the presence of nerves everywhere in all parts of our body, what happens? Let us suppose if you, uh, if while walking, if you step on something which is sharp, right? What happens? You get hurt. What makes you feel that you got hurt when you touched that pointed object? As soon as you touch as soon as you touch that object, the, the nerves here actually will transmit that signal to the brain. The brain will then tell you that you have point, you have stepped on a sharp object and then you remove your step back. So things happen very fast. So now you understand what, what is nervous system. So now this nervous system consists of brain, the nerves and the spinal cord and all of these are made up of a tissue. So that tissue is known as the nervous tissue. So here we are going to talk about the nervous tissue. <clears throat> now what is the speciality of the nervous tissue? I mean this kind of behavior was not shown by any other tissue. For example, the muscular tissue helped in movement. So what was the speciality of the muscular tissue? It contained a special type of protein called contractile protein because of which it had thus capability to cause movement. Similarly, the nervous tissue is able to react to situations so fast. So what is it or what is the speciality that a nervous tissue has? So let us talk about that. The cells of the nervous tissue are highly specialized to respond to stimuli and then transmitting the stimulus very rapidly from one place to another within the body. So what is stimulus? This is again a new term, <clears throat> right? So let us first understand stimulus. It is an event that evokes a specific functional reaction in an organ or tissue. That means any such incident which makes you react to it. For example, when I, as I took the example of the hot water, so that hot water was present, when you touched the hot water, you immediately reacted. So that means there was a specific reaction and the reaction is also similar. Now as soon as you touch the hot water, what is going to be the reaction? You will take your hand back, right? So that is a specific reaction. Similarly, let us suppose if you, if you touch something which is extremely cold, it is freezing. If you touch something, there also you immediately tend to move your hand back, right? Similarly, when you get an electric shock, 
what is the expected reaction that specific reaction is that again you will jerk back right so the such events the events which is taking place which is making you to react in a specific manner those events are known as stimulus so in this case the hot water bath was creating a was the stimulus similarly the uh, electric board which was giving you shock that is a stimulus because that is causing you to react in a specific way so that is stimulus now as such the cells which are all the cells inside our body they respond to stimulus so in case of any such event all cells will react but the cells of nervous tissue are highly specialized so that they respond to stimuli very fast and then they transmit that stimulus very rapidly from one place to another. For example, if you touch something, as I mentioned, if you touch something very hot with your hand, your hand will react to it. So the cells which are present inside your hand, they will react to it. But at the same time, the cells of the nervous tissue will immediately transmit that stimulus from your hand to the brain. And then the brain will tell you what to do next. Right? So that means it is not only responding to the stimulus, but it is also transmitting the stimulus very rapidly from one place to another. And because of this basic nature of the nervous tissue, we have the entire nervous system functioning. So you can just imagine what would happen if the nervous system doesn't function properly. Right? The, the person we, we call a person as, we, we generally use the term mad. He is a mad guy, he is a, she is a mad girl. What do we mean? We mean that the person is mentally, he is specially, he is especially mentally abled. That means he is not able to think properly, he is not able to take proper decisions, right? So then we say that the person is insane, right? So the nervous system plays a very important role in our life and the nervous system is made up of nervous tissue. So the nervous tissue is also something very important which you should know. So some of the examples which will explain you stimulus is when you touch a cup of hot coffee, what happens? The instant specific reaction is that you will take your hand back. Similarly, let us suppose you are walking down the street and suddenly you meet your teacher and you say, hey, hi. So what makes you greet your teacher? Because as soon as you see your eye is the organ which is just seeing things the eye will just see it but immediately the signal will reach from eye to your brain and the brain will tell you that she, the person whom you are seeing is your teacher so the moment you say oh she is my teacher so what happens the signal again goes to your tongue and then you say that hey hi so then you know that you have to greet this person right so what was the stimulus here the event that you saw your teacher that was the event, that was the stimulus and what was the reaction? The reaction was your greet. You said, hey, hi. So that was the reaction. Similarly, there's a, when you get your results, you become very happy, right? Similarly, when you do not score well in your exams, you become so sad. So these are some of the reactions which happen under different situations. So such situations which causes a specific reaction in an organ or a tissue is known as stimulus and this nervous the cells of this nervous tissue are highly specialized to react to these kind of stimuli and that is how the that is the basic fact based on which the entire nervous system functions now let us see what constitutes the nervous tissue what is the nervous tissue made up of the cells of the nervous tissue are known as nerve cells or neurons like for example, every cell has a different name. For bone cell, we had osteocyte. For cartilage cells, we had chondrocytes. Similarly, for nerve cells, we call them as neurons. Now, how does a neuron look like? So let us look, have a look at the structure of a neuron. So we can say that the neuron's cell body consists of, so this is the cell body of a neuron. So it has an axon. So this is the axon, this part is known as axon. This is how a neuron actually looks like. So let us try to understand the structure of a neuron in this slide. So what all do you have? A cell body. Inside the cell body, what all do you have? You have a nucleus. So this is the nucleus, this is your cell body, right? This is the cell body. Like every other cell, this also has a nucleus. This also has a cytoplasm. That is the fluid-like structure which is filling the space cytoplasm and many other cell organelles which are not shown in this picture but all other normal cell organelles are also present inside this cell body but it has some different things also what are the different things 
the special things which it has as dendrites. What are dendrites? Dendrites are short, thin, hair-like structures arising from the cytoplasm. So from this cytoplasm, you can see that hair-like structures have come up and these hair-like structures are known as dendrites. These dendrites help in communication between neurons. So that means these dendrites will actually help the different neurons to communicate with each other because communication is a very, very important aspect of the nervous tissue because in nervous tissue, it is all about understanding a stimulus, re reacting to the stimulus and then transferring the stimulus from one point to another point in the body. So that communication has to happen from one part of the body to the other. So for that communication, you need some special structures, right? So dendrites is one such special structure which help to communicate between neurons. You have another structure called axon. What are axon? They are single, long, thin structure arising from cytoplasm. So from cytoplasm, you have short hair-like structure called dendrites. And from cytoplasm only, you have a long structure, long, thin structure that is called axon. So this thin hair-like structure again. The only difference is you have many dendrites arising from one cell body and they are all short structures. And axon is a very long structure and there is a single axon arising from a single cell body. So you have a single long thin structure arising from the cytoplasm. So this yellow line is an axon. What is its function? It helps in communication with target uh, organs. So that means dendrites helps in communication between two neurons and axon helps in communicating with different organs. For example, you touched something with your hand. So how did it reach to your brain? So from hand, it has to come to your other organs. It has to reach your brain. So that means to communicate with different organs, axon helps you because they are comparatively longer also. And to communicate between the different neurons inside the nervous tissue, the dendrites help. So the dendrites and the axons are the special things which are present inside a nervous tissue that actually helps in uh, the functioning of the nervous system. So as I mentioned before also, like everything functions as per plan, but everything has some speciality because of which they do that function. Right? So the speciality of a nervous tissue is the presence of dendrites and axons in the neuron. Right. So with this, I hope that the structure of a neuron is more or less clear to you. Right. Now, we are not getting into the detail of the neuron structure as of, as I mentioned before also that I will teach you the topics as per your level. Now, as you go ahead and uh, you, we will be learning things in more detail. Right. So I hope I have been able to explain you the basic structure of nervous tissue. So when you look at this example of a nervous tissue, you will see that these tissues which I have discussed, they are all connected to each other. For example, let us suppose if this boy, he goes and touches an open switchboard. What happens? He gets an electric shock. Now, in this entire process, what all happened? It is not only the nervous tissue which played a role. The moment he touched the switchboard, right the nervous tissue reacted because of which he removed his hand he got a jerk so that was because of the nervous tissue now when he moves his hand he is able to move his hand that movement is possible because of muscular tissue right now how is that muscular tissue able to work because the muscles are connected to each other because the muscles are connected to the skin, the muscles are connected to the bone and that connection is done by the connective tissue. At the same time now if you got a shock but still the internal organs which are present inside the body are all safe. It doesn't happen that you get a shock and the person dies. He doesn't die, right? The internal organs are still safe. That's because you have so much of outer covering. Maybe your skin gets a little damaged. You might get a small burn on your skin. So that's because of the presence of the skin, which is again an epithelial tissue. So all the tissues coordinate with each other and help in proper form functioning of our body. So I hope that uh, the, this video helped you to understand tissues. What are tissues? Uh, why are they present in our body? How animal tissues and plant tissues are different from each other? So I hope you'll go through this lesson and you will learn something new. You'll learn something different and you will find this video interesting. And apart from that, I would also ask you to go through 
some of the diagrams very carefully some of the pictures which are shown in the slides please go through them carefully so that so that you have a picture in your mind so that because biology is something which is always better and easy to understand with the help of diagrams with the help of pictures right so see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.